Virgil, I'm going to try to redo your reading real quick before I head off to tumbling. Um, I don't like leaving, <laughs> leaving anyone out, and I really hate that I just did this whole thing and it got lost, but the last one I did sucked, and this one actually looks really good, so maybe that's why it was lost. That's what I'm going to go with, all right? So real quick, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in love, April 28th through May 4th. Your overall energy is acceptance, all right? Acceptance. Acceptance is the key word for you at the moment. You have the power to heal and bring balance to an area of your life that is causing you concern by accepting things as they are. Don't try to change that which is beyond your power to change. Focus instead on that over which you do have power. You have power over the way you react to the events in your life. Adopting an accepting attitude will help you regain your sense of inner peace. There's no point worrying about something if worrying about it will make no difference. Believe that the forces of life are with you and not against you. Make the most of what you have instead of wishing you had more. However, acceptance does not mean that you need to give up on your dreams, hopes, or aspirations. Just know that there is a higher purpose to things and trust that all will work out for your highest good and for the highest good of all concerned. Okay. I don't even have any music right now going, guys. I am sorry. I do have to rush through it, but we'll get there. All right. Your recent past, the Knight of Cups, Water Energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This is someone offering their cup of love to someone. Either you offered it to someone or they offered it to you. Um, it is genuine. Now, knights are young energy, and so, I mean, it could be a younger person, doesn't have to be. It could just be that it's new. So, while you don't know if it's permanent yet, how far it's going to go, it is genuine, right? It is real. So, that's your recent past. Your present, you have the Four of Cups reversed. So, you may have had a lot of options um, and didn't really give a shit about any of them, and now you do. Um... You may have been, you know, contemplating on something, just kind of weighing your options for a while, and either you picked one or you're like, nah, I don't want any of them, but I don't think that's it. I think somebody offered their cup of love to you, and you had all these options on the table, and you were like, all right, I'm going to give this person a chance and narrow it down to one. Now, in your immediate future, you guys have so much cups energy here, I would say, you're almost definitely dealing with a water sign if this reading is for you. Otherwise, it's just full of a whole lot of love and emotion. All right, your immediate future, you have the Six of Cups. This is one of my soulmate cards. This is also a nostalgia card, so it could be someone from your past coming back. Um, whereas, maybe that's why you were in the Four of Cups energy for a little while there. Like, you didn't know what you wanted to do about it. Now you do. All right. Your potential obstacle, the Six of Swords. Did someone leave and now they're back? That's what it looks like to me. <laughs> All right, so your potential obstacle is probably that someone left. There was a breakup. All right, let's get some clarity. Let's clarify the Four of Cups for you. Clarify the Four of Cups for Virgo. Ace of Pentacles, Earth Energy. This is yours as well as Taurus and Capricorn. This is a brand new stable beginning. Even if it is with a past person, it's a new beginning. And it is stable, it is grounded, it is safe. Okay? That's an awesome card to come out with the Four of Cups reversed. Um, clarify the Six of Cups for Virgo. the six of cups for Virgo what six of cups blah, blah blah six of cups is clarified by the five of cups okay so someone from your past might have come back and you don't know what to do because you still have regret you still have remorse or you're still you know just going over past shit like all right if this is a past person that came back for reconciliation which it looks to me like it could very well be. Make sure that you're not stuck in this past energy, any past hurt. Make sure that you don't 
sabotage any new beginning because you're still dwelling on shit that one of you might have done in the past. All right? Because there's this shit that spilled out, right? Crying over spilled milk. But there's still two cups here standing. All is not lost. You just have to get up and turn around and look at them. Um, so that's what it looks like to me. It looks like there's a past person that comes back and wants a new stable beginning with you. And... You're still going, going over shit that happened in the past with them, and you're not sure what you want to do about it. Um, let's get you some advice. Okay. So your first advice card is the Ten of Cups Reverse. All right, so as an advice card, this is really strange, right? Make sure... Now, I know I just said don't dwell on past shit, but make sure that it's not an out-of-balance relationship, All right? While somebody might want a new stable beginning, there might have been, like, it might have been really dysfunctional, really out of balance, um, not a happy home life, not a happy relationship at all. So make sure that you're not getting yourself back into something like that, all right? Don't dwell on past shit, but make sure that the present isn't exactly like the past was, all right? And you have the Two of Pentacles. This is just, um again, balance, keeping the balance. You have a lot of responsibilities. You're juggling a lot of shit. You just have to keep it in balance. If something feels too heavy, you have to put it down. Otherwise, you're going to get overwhelmed, okay? Um... See, I'm gonna just clarify the five of cups real quick here. Clarify the five of cups. Oh, okay. Three of wands, fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um this is kind of like not wanting to prepare for the future, not seeing a future. Um, shit, guys. <laughs> if you don't see a future with this person, don't bother with it. If you're, if you can't get over things that happened in the past, don't bother with it. Um, now while you may have like some good memories of this person and I do think that they want a stable beginning, I think they're legit. I don't think that they're full of shit. It just might be that you guys together are too out of balance that it might not work. Um, and I don't know that. That's for you to decide. But just it's just something to watch out for, okay? Clarify this Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, the Ace of Pentacles is clarified by the full reversed. Again, don't jump into anything. This is, no, you don't want to take a leap of faith. You don't just want to jump the fuck back in. You want to make sure you know what you're getting into and that it is stable, okay? Whether they are genuine in, in trying for this new stable beginning, which it looks to me like they are, you can have good intentions and still have it turn out like shit. Do you know what I mean? So just take your time. Be patient. Don't rush in. Um, make sure you're keeping your eyes open. Make sure you're watching out for the red flags, all that good shit. All right. Take care, Virgo.